Hello there. Can you believe it's been a whopping 34 years since the iconic TV series The Lone Ranger 1949 graced our screens? Our childhoods were defined by the thrilling mysteries of The Lone Ranger. Imagine the fun of gathering your family on the sofa to revisit this classic, witnessing the cast then and now, reminiscing about those we've lost, and marveling at the transformations of those who still look fabulous. For all the answers, join us in our video journey. Okay, let's explore together. In 1949, Jay Silverhills graced the screen with his portrayal of the character Tonto, a role he brought to life at the age of 37. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on March 5, 1980, he left us due to a stroke at the age of 67 in Woodland Hills, Los Angeles, California. And he paid for it. Me not like idea of him riding into town for a race with Cheyenne Pony. If him do something crooked, him make big trouble between white man and Indian. That's true. Sort of a public service. Believe me, these deals don't even pay for my time. Sorry, I can't help you. In 1949, Bill Ward graced the screen with his portrayal of the character a henchman, a role he brought to life at the age of 23. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 97-year-old, He's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of Alejo, California. Close by. Uh, how close would you say? Him always where you think him not. Don't I know? Only this time he's got to come here because here's where you are. Either deliberately put that together as a as a ploy, as an advertisement, advertising promotional ploy, oh. or who I seriously. In 1950. John Hart graced the screen with his portrayal of the character The Lone Ranger, a role he brought to life at the age of 33. It is with heavy hearts that we recall September 20th, 2009, when he sadly departed at the age of 91 in Rosarito Beach, Baja, California, following a battle with dementia. $5,000. I've camped outside of town about a mile up from the bend on Willow Creek. Suppose you bring the money there in about an hour. And if I don't, in that case, I'll... And partners, I hope you've enjoyed today's show with John Hart, the other Lone Ranger. Until we see you again, so long, goodbye, and God bless you. Clayton Moore graced the screen as the character The Lone Ranger, casting his vibrant presence at the age of 35 during the 1949 filming. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on December 28, 1999, due to a heart attack at the age of 85 in West Hills, Los Angeles, California badge and the people you represent. A lawman who robbed a tenderfoot of the money he held in trust. Just so you could ruin his future with the Indian service and his marriage to the girl you wanted. You the cowboy will always be the symbol of the American heritage. The fair play and the honesty. The good guy and the... Chuck Courtney graced a screen as the character Dan Reed, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 20 during the 1950 filming. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on January 19, 2000, due to suicide at the age of 69 in North Hollywood, California. Sir, every question I ask. Yes, sir. How much money do you have? Not more than eight dollars. Do you have any gold or jewelry? We've been there since uh, we were hungry and, well, we were complaining they hadn't even brought us any coffee or stuff. In 1950, Mickey Simpson graced the screen with his portrayal of the character Ben Boone, a role he brought to life at the age of 37. It is with heavy hearts that we recall September 23, 1985, when he sadly departed at the age of 71 in Northridge, California, following a battle with heart attack. Yelling and shooting and wrecking our equipment. Jim Bledsoe tried to save my transit and got an arrow in the back. And he took a bullet in the side. What were you saying about a white man? It was about... House Peters Jr. graced a screen as the character Bat Anders, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 34 during the 1950 filming. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on October 1, 2008, he left us due to pneumonia at the age of 92 in Los Angeles, California. But why should he lie? He's lying, all right. We came tearing into that canyon like a sure enough war party. We cut loose with arrows and carbines and then dusted out again. In 1949, John Casson graced the screen with his portrayal of the character Barney Compton, a role he brought to life at the age of 31. 
It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on July 7, 1961, due to road accidents at the age of 42 in Santa Barbara, California. Rawhide, how do you feel about sharing that gold? Well, I think we'll split it up four ways. A quarter of a hundred thousand dollars, that's not bad. Not bad at all. John Doucette graced the screen as the character Andrew Gage, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 28 during the 1949 filming. It is with heavy hearts that we recall August 16, 1994, when he sadly departed at the age of 73 in Banning, California, following a battle with cancer. Sheriff. Yeah? Well, you ought to have a doctor look into that shoulder wound of yours. Oh, it'll be all right. Well, maybe, but if we get into a gunfight, you won't... In 1949, Harry Lauder graced the screen with his portrayal of the character Dave Tucker, a role he brought to life at the age of 35. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on October 30th, 1990, he left us due to heart failure at the age of 76 in Ojai, California. Country. And look, there's a perfect spot to build our new home. We could risk it. We've got to stop running away sometime. Please. Harry Harvey graced the screen as the character Clem, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 48 during the 1949 filming. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on November 27, 1985, due to natural causes at the age of 84 in Silmar, California. Share your favorite character from the TV series The Lone Ranger with me. Drop your thoughts in the comments below this video, and don't forget to show your love by hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel, and ringing the notification bell to catch all my upcoming videos. I'm eagerly looking forward to sharing more wonderful memories with you. Thank you and see you all soon.